Okay, what do you do if you do not have a compass? Because some of you are not like me and like just have compasses laying around your house. Uh, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna draw a line. And then you're gonna use some sort of circle template. This is the top of a jar of glitter. And <laughs> that's the lid there. Uh, you're gonna do your very darndest to center this on the line so that it's like equidistant in the center here and you're gonna trace a super perfect circle on the inside if you trace on the inside it actually works a little bit better than if you trace on the outside but that's just my experience then and yeah we're kind of eyeballing it if you want to get all precise you could like measure and like mark where the center of this thing is I think that's a little excessive, but uh, you do you, man. That's okay. And then we're gonna draw a roughly perpendicular line here. Oop. Perpendicular line. Um, we need to split this evenly though here. And here's my fabulous trick for this. Take a piece of paper. This is a bit of an origami piece of paper. And you're gonna fold the corner in half like this. And you have created for yourself a beautiful 45 degree angle. And you can use that 45 degree angle to draw these lines that you need. So like, wow, there's 45 degree. And then I can just keep this going throughout. And then here, lining it up here, that's my 45 degree. And then you're just gonna extend that line all the way through. And then you have again divided your circle into eight equal parts. Uh, it's not perfect, but it'll do for our purposes. And then you're gonna do just like what I did in the other video. And you're gonna connect the square. So here and here. These are gonna create four of the eight points of my star. You'll notice I'm doing a little fudging as I go. That's okay. You guys can do that. Um, very strange pen collection with me right now. That's cool. Whatever. And then there. And you are going to get a beautiful eight-pointed star. And just like before, if you wanted to, you could take and make other circles. Um... You can get like a row of almost nine here if you wanted to, and you could expand this and tile this like I'm gonna do in my time lapse.